What's up guys, welcome back to Atlas. Today I've got a Docker Workshop speed build for you. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you don't like it, you know, up to you. And uh, hit the subscribe button, videos every Friday and Monday for gameplay videos and sometimes in between we do some uh, news updates, patch videos and things like that for Atlas and probably in the future some other games as well. So yeah, hope you enjoy that kind of stuff. This video was uh, took a while to, to record to be honest, as you can see there I got into trouble with some wildlife which happened quite a few times, it's quite an aggressive island to be honest, but I uh, got there eventually, had to, um, really with the dockyards I really had to go with the uh, shape of the seafloor at times because unexpectedly the shelf dropped off really deep and uh, when I scouted out this location, um, yeah, I thought it was going to be alright, but yeah, it turned out it, some places were too deep. But um, yeah, got there eventually and made it so we can moor up all the way along the dockyards. And uh, yeah, I was pretty happy with the outcome of it. If you just want to watch the tour of the um, the build, you can do so. The link for the timestamp is in the description below. Um, or I'll put it on the screen now as well. And uh, yeah, enjoy the video guys, and uh, I will drop in now and then in the video to point out a few things probably, and uh, if not, I'll chat to you at the end.
so uh, yeah just here there's a bit of a jump um, you can see there the dockyards or the shipyards have been sunk into the um, into the, the harbour I didn't do that my mate built it um, he thought oh, so I went to work just where before we jumped to that shot and um, this was like four or five days later and uh, he thought I'd given up building the harbour because I'd left it like halfway around the small dockyard and um, yeah he went ahead and finished up the side and then he reset the shipyards to make them all sink into the um, into the dock and uh, yeah I was going to um, take them out and redo it because I wanted to show you guys how I like line it all up. The docks were in originally, or sorry, the shipyards were in originally so I could build the docks around them. They were like a template. And then later on I, I pick them back up and sink them back in where they are, um, but they go in flush with the panels um, and you end up with a sealed shipyard and it all looks like one thing but uh, my mate done such a good job i couldn't I, I couldn't bring myself to do it because knowing my luck it wouldn't have gone back in as perfect but you can see here i've put the stairs in the finishing touch and on the large one here um, when i zoom back out you'll see it's all sunk in and it all matches up lovely and it looks like it's part of one thing so yeah big shout out to rad dude for nailing that to be honest yeah um I'll do another video at some point and show you guys how I do that if you don't know how to do it. But it does look nice when you get it to sit in like that. So yeah, big shout out to Rad Dude, he nailed it.
And there we go guys, all done, finished, painted, everything with the addition of these two turret towers I've built. Um, had to get these done. I was going to save these for until I'd done a perimeter wall, but yeah, I thought this would be better to do it now. And I'm really happy how they come out. They got five turrets in each one. Nice and simple. You've probably seen things like this before, but I'm pretty happy how they come out with the colours. Um, yeah, definitely needed them, that's for sure. There's uh, Joe Exotic there, the defence tiger, who probably won't be needed now. Got me uh, billboards up, obviously, Bronzebeard Incorporated with my Discord channel, and then the uh, Moshman billboard for my YouTube. You know, got a got to get the name out there somehow right um, but yeah these turret towers like I said I'm really happy with how they they come out um, <laughs> nice and simple and it's just the little things and it sometimes it just looks good so yeah everything's done this is the workshop the big like diamond shaped windows are inspired by um, uh, the windows on shoes base who is also known as Davy Jones the legendary shipbuilder in the PVE community and um, yeah, I was around his base, looking around and chatting with him, and yeah, I, I loved them big windows, so I kind of, uh, you know, inspired, stole them, <laughs> whatever you want to call it, but yeah, they're definitely, after I see um, his building, look really nice. So you can see that everything's organised, got the um, storage back up on the shelves from, um, you know, my brother's idea, Senile, who was in one of, a couple of the other videos, uh, and th this is laid out. Um, you know, for practical reasons, and it got Rad Dude's nod of approval because <laughs> he doesn't care what it looks like, he just wants practicality. Um, you can see that a grill which is all plumbed in. Um, I've, I've actually done a little video while I was doing this of how to do that because I know people um, struggle with it sometimes, so I've got like a really short video coming for that. You can see all the bookshelves are all organized. I'm gonna change the color of these, I think I'm gonna match them to the um, color of the maps and plans so that you can easily see what's where and again that was actually uh, another thing I stole from Shu <laughs> because his library everything's colour coded and it's a really good idea it looks really smart so I think I might do that as well um, but yeah really happy how it comes out I really do like the colours I love the red on the um, stone gateways I think they look really really nice um, I can't remember what I was doing here I was, I was doing something I, don't know, I was probably taking screenshots or something no idea but um, yeah, got a load of seating out here, you might have just seen as well, for um, when we get crew members stored here. The cages and stuff like that are scattered around it just for decoration, I think it makes the place look nice. You can see there the handiwork of the um, stone stairs. The stone stairs look really good at this, because one, they blend in with the uh, shipyard, and two, they seal it in. There's no like gaps between them like the wood stairs. And um, for some reason, they seem to snap in easier than the wood, wood ones sometimes do. So, yeah, they, it looks really nice when you do this. Like I said earlier in the speed build part, that um, it really does look nice when you sink all this in like that. And um, I will do a video at some point when I do another dockyard of how we do it. But, yeah, Rad Dude absolutely killed it. What an awesome job that is. Uh, here's the unloading docks, got the uh, platforms up to the uh, cargo containers, this is obviously for the galleons but you should be able to unload a brig in here as well, I'm going to put some stairs like off the edge so that um, galleons can sail through them and they reach the side of the brig so you can unload the brig nice and easy instead of making loads of dockyards everywhere, I think that'd be kind of cool. You. Um, you can see I've got my billboards everywhere here as well, just run around the back of the ship and look down the side, you can see how close it is to each side. This is nine squares wide, which is the perfect size for the galleon. We've had no issues with it. I've done the last few that I've done, uh, last few dockyards I've done, I've built like that. Um, and uh, yeah, you can see they had a bookshelf, tables and chairs, it's meant to be like the harbour master's little seating bit while he's unloading the docks. Again, just a bit of decoration, role play type stuff. And uh, yeah, here's the end of the dockyard. Um, them boys there are to mark as shallows. It's really shallow there. That's why I didn't bother building the way over there because we couldn't do anything with it. Couldn't even park on the side of the ships if we wanted to. And then it goes really deep. You wouldn't be able to anchor. Um, so yeah, we'll just run over to the other side of the harbour, I guess you would call it now. So pretty cool. I'll put a, a um, smithy and a storage box on each um, shipyard as well, just you know, because it's nice to have it there sometimes more decoration. I'm going to change the uh, billboards and not going to have my name on all of them. I've just done that for the purpose of the video. Uh, probably like maybe do a bit of artwork on them or something. Maybe um, post some other people's discords and stuff on them at some point. I think that'd be kind of cool. And you can see there it's a funny shape. That's to match the bottom of the ocean. 
Um, you can't moor ships any further out than what we've got them, and you can't get them any further back than what we've got them. There's just a fine line where you can go and moor, get the anchor to work on the ships. So that's why it's that shaped. But there we go, guys. I hope you like it. Let me know down below what you think to that. And uh, yeah, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, or a thumbs down if you didn't. And uh, hit that subscribe button. I've just hit 1k subscribers, and yeah, it'd be awesome to keep that ball rolling and see where this channel can go. Really enjoying it. Thank you so much for all the support. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Here's some night shots, as you can see, from what it looked like all lit up at night. And yeah, it was a pain making this video, like making the dockyard. But we got there eventually. I think it was worth it. I'm really happy with the outcome of it. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it too. Again, let me know what you think down below. And I'll see you in the next one.